Hi, welcome back. On this video here, I want to do some more refactoring uh, with our little applications here. I think we should um, include many of these things, the header, the footer, in, in other parts of our uh, file structure, all right? So here on my SQL, what I want to do is I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to create a new folder called Includes. Enter. And then in, in includes, I'm going to create two files. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to cre create one file called header.php. So we're going to be putting our header there. I'm going to right click again and create another one called footer.php. All right. And what I want to do, I want to start with the first function here. All right. So the first function is uh, create because we are doing the CRUD. And I want to take all this, everything that has to do with the head of the document, and that it starts with the body right here. So everything that has to do with the head, I want to take it off. And I'm going to put, and what I did, I took it off with the, with the ads, all right? So make sure you cut it off. So command or controls, uh, not C, cut, uh, command, control C, copy, command C, command S or control S, all right? Just make sure you do that. So that way we can have it here and we're going to include it. We're going to use the function includes and include actually. And if I can get this here, that would be nice. And it's, we say it's in a file called includes and it's called header.php. All right, so we are going to be including this header. We're going to do it right now, right here. Paste that information in there. And let's go check that uh, read to see if this file create, I'm sorry. It's working right. Let's create, let's do that. Let's go check it out to see if, the, if it's still there. There we go, so it's working. Now let's go and grab the footer. All right, let's grab the footer from here. So make sure this div here, okay. So we don't have anything on the footer. We just have these little three divs here. I'm just gonna take it off. Let's put some PHP tags. And remember what I do, command S or control S to cut it. So that way you can still have those in your, when you paste it with your mouse, all right? So includes footer. All right, let's go to the, actually footer.php and we have that up here also header.php okay so let's go to footer and paste it here perfect all right so let's make sure that it works all right we're working if we right we check source we can see that they're here and that our head is here too all right all right perfect so what I want to do is I want to copy this let's um copy this includes into the next files right and take it off and just copy this so the next one is CRUD is update I'm going by the acronym CRUD C R U D all right so update let's take the head out and let's include it all right let's do that and the next one and I'm gonna include the footer after I, I finish including the header all right so the next one is the D, delete, right? All right, we got create, update, actually update. We got update, then crud. actually it was read, create, and read was the next one. Sorry, guys. All right, let's just do read. We got a mess here. We need to fix this one too here, but let's just take this out. This one now, and we need to fit read into a function. Let's just make sure that we do that. All right, we need to read this, create it into a function. So let's get it out of here. And this is a mess. We need a connection too. <laughs> so let's let's go ahead and do all that. Um, so let's just include the connection here. This one needs everything db.php all right so we got the connection here 
let's include, include a couple of them the functions that's in the read right here all right the functions is something that we need to include there too all right now let's take this out of here this connection we don't need this connection let's just take everything out right here and let's take this query out of here let's make it into a function how about that mm -hmm. I think if we take it into a function it would be a lot better than just leaving it here let's just take this out and just make sure we close that take it into functions and let's call this read so we have create then we should have show all data right here as a matter of fact we had it here all right so all we have to do is just let me check something out first let's go back to it all we're doing here is actually showing all the data so we can call the same function right here perfect so let's do that let's call that function right there first let's just put these files in in two different PHP tags let's call that function right here let's go back to it let's call it and it's called up show all data and let's go to login and right here show all data so hold on that function was actually showing showing all data but then it has this it's showing all this right here so we call that function is gonna go and call all this and we don't want that because if we go back we have this my SQL showing something else here alright so we're just gonna call this function something else let's just make it something else alright so let's go back and undo by pressing command Z all right, and let's just take this and just leave it the way it is there and we're gonna put it in the, into the functions all right so be careful with that and just make the PHP tax in here be careful with that with what I was about to do there and let's just create another function you see this function is different because it's already pulling some other data we don't want that this function is gonna be specific to read data all right because it's that we are displaying something right here we need to actually include this into our function too into the read function that's what we're going to be calling it so we got the cross here create the next function should be read read rows all right and let's go here and you're going to see in a minute what i mean all right if you don't understand it this function is totally different from the one from the show data in the bottom since the show data is gonna be echoing the ID right that's what this function is doing the other one is gonna be echoing all the rows alright so let's go back to the file and let's just take this out of here let's just take the whole thing out even though we have to fix it and we need to call that function right here by the way so I'm just gonna have some PHP tags waiting for it alright as a matter of fact it's cleaner if we leave it like this that's fine alright let's go to the function and re rows right here I'm just gonna copy all that in here I'm just gonna take the HTML out PHP tags And let's see if we can fix this if it looks a little better there we go it looks it's looking better make sure that all the tags match all the curly brackets by clicking on it and you can see the little hyphen under it click on this perfect this should be the function right here perfect all right so I think we're good with this all right we will find out right now we are good all right so 
let's go ahead and call this from the login from here all right let's see how that comes out let's go to read undefined variable oh all right forgot the global remember to put the global connection all the time in there perfect all right there we go as you can see there all right we don't have the pre tax because we're not using it right here but let's go back to that and we can use the pre tax outside so let's use the pre tax right here let's wrap it around there and it should look better right here now there we go now all right so we're showing the first array here and the second array all right now it's not going to divide each array into each each um, like we did on the last time but it's going to do it like this I think it's better like this if we show it only in one place here so I mean we did a lot here and look at this how this looks now we need to include we have the header we need to include the footer on this files here so let's just go ahead and get the footer and I believe the create has it create login underscore create has the footer and let's go to the uh, to the next one uh, crud update let's take the footer out of here and let's just include it there the next one is let me see CR the read we need to have the read also make sure we have the header for the read we have the header and what else update have that we have that delete delete we need to get the lead done so take this off let's copy first the header let's get the body out of there with this do we have the footer here no we don't let's get it from update hope you get the hang of it oops all right right here this is for delete perfect and make sure we have the header for it perfect we can even include this form in another file just to make it cleaner how about that huh we can include that whole content in somewhere else if we wanted to but I think this is okay since we don't have the same content everywhere else I know we know that the header is the same and the footer is the same so that way we can include it so let's just double check that everything is working header uh, create is good delete is good update is good and let's check read read looks good let's just check it here let's make sure let's start with crud create alright let's do update alright we can use a little text center there on this form right here a little class called text center alright just to center stuff all right so cron the next one will be so read we, che we checked on that already read and delete will be the next one these files are looking good delete oops enter <coughs> excuse me all right all right perfect so we are good to go all right I mean there's nothing else we got to do here and I think this was a good exercise for you to learn refactoring and if you uh, are with me still great job if you follow everything here if not for some reason just go back and rewind the videos or ask me the questions all right thank you again for watching this and hopefully this will help you organize your applications a lot better take care